Welcome to the second night of the Extra Time .ie Esports Cup. Of course, all the money raised from this goes to the uh, Cystic Fibrosis Ireland Foundation, and you can make your donations via I donate forward slash Extra Time .ie Esports Cup. It is Group One action. It's UCD against Finn Harps. UCD with a loss against Waterford last night. Of course, UCD are here because Shelburne weren't in the FIFA game when it was made last year. But Jay's goodbye is playing as UCD, of course. He really is Shelburne. So, UCD in the blue tops up against Finn Harps in the luminous ones. Eric Finn back with me this evening. Of course, Eric Finn, a professional FIFA player. Uh, Eric, what do you expect from tonight? Well, so far, I'm trying to see if Jace Goboya can improve from his yesterday's defeat. Uh, I actually think he showed a bit of promise, but I, I think time will tell, and I think he'll be able to show his true ability tonight and pick up two points. Well, he needs to get something because two losses in a row would not be a good start to this tournament, and even though it's two groups of five and he wouldn't be absolutely out of it, he would certainly be behind the eight ball. Jace Goboya playing as UCD. Cameroon Sol playing his first uh, match this evening. The Finn Harps man, who's originally from London, but has played a bit of football in the United States. A striker, age 24. On the ball now, as himself. Will he go for it himself? He tries to square it, and maybe he should have gone for it himself. I thought strikers were supposed to be selfish. Cameron uh, flying in the face of the cliche. UCD coming forward now, slipping it forward. He's carrying it into the path of Tobin. Goes back outside. Tobin bringing it down the wing. Tackle well by Sadiqi. Cuts back, tries to put in a cross, it's low, UCD of numbers there, pull back and well, goes far away from goal. How important is the experience of having had one game for Jace Kabaya? He lost it, but that's still one more game than Cameron's had. Yeah, I think it'll give him the hunger that he needs to try harder and be more concentrated in this game specifically. Uh, because he really needs to get something on the board now. As you said, it is a five-man group, so he really needs to start picking up points or else it becomes desperate uh, toward the latter end of the table. We went to see these two last year and what was kind of a relegation six-pointer, although UCD were well cut off in the end. Although, technically, I should be calling them Shelburne because Jace Kabaya is playing as UCD for the reasons already explained. UCD. And Jace is kind of... Playing it around outside the box, when he gets up towards the box, he's not afraid to go backwards. It's an interesting tactic, is it one you see very often in FIFA, Eric? Uh, it is and it isn't, I guess. It's uh, depending on who you play as or against, but there is the typical, as we like to call, uh, surgeons in the game. Oh, that wasn't far away. That wasn't a bad shot at all. So, yeah, as you can see, Jason Boy is a bit of a surgeon for this game specifically. He's trying to pinpoint his attacks and try and uh, mask open the defence of Cameron Saul. Do individual players have individual styles in this game? Again, just to repeat for people who wouldn't have seen the first night of this, I don't play FIFA. I haven't played it since the days of the Sega Mega Drive, so I'm not sure. We'll come back to that point in a minute because Jays is on the attack again at your UCD. He just can't get a shot away. He should really be 1-0 up at this stage. He is dominating there. Cameron is on the counter-attack. Oh, oh, that could be a red that? card because he was on his way to goal. <laughs> yeah, oh, it has there? to be a red card for me, I think. And if it isn't, they'll be very surprised. Red card for Collins, and Jays is in a bit of trouble here, not just in the context of the game, but also the context of the group. Finn Harps, what can they do? They're playing a bit more football than we see in the real world. Again, that's not meant as any disrespect, but um, I went to see them a few times last year, including once in Valley Buffet for the playoff, and well, they're not afraid to go direct. Is going direct a bit of a thing in FIFA, or generally is it keep it along the ground stuff, Eric? You see, we have a lot of custom tactics available in the game, including, uh, say, defensive styles such as drop back or maybe constant pressure on a play on a team. But um, this year, the meta itself is based around kind of dropping back, letting your opponent come forward. Oh, and here come UCD. Jays could do with a bit of a boost, having had a man sent off. The shot comes, but he can't keep it on target again. He tried to thread it through, but just couldn't. Although he, well, couldn't score, could create the chance. To be fair playing well despite the fact that he's down to 10 men how much of a difference does that make in gaming so, well you know it's, it's very similar to the real thing um, if you're a man down you know there's holes uh, in certain places that you just wouldn't like and um, Cameron is trying to pick a hole here both as himself on the game and as himself playing the game it was interesting last night Darrow O'Connor of Cork City scored as himself it's an outswinger it's a header it's not far off target
Keeper lumps it away. Kerrigan. Good with the ball at his feet. Kerrigan again. Tries to slip it in behind, but it was well read well by Cogler, who gets it away. What can Jay's Kabaya do here? Kerrigan is controlling everything for UCD. And again, they just can't quite find that final pass through. Here's Saul, dispossessed, ran into a bit of trouble. Are players a bit tempted to try one or two spectacular things as themselves? I mean, you've seen it maybe with David Myler. I'm not sure does he play as himself much as Ben Harps get a shot away, but it's a good block by the UCD defence and UCD go on the counter-attack. But uh, Ben Harps getting the numbers back as they do in the real world as well. Russell slips it through. Running onto it is Maddie, who scores against Waterford. Maddie sends it inside, yeah, surely that's the goal, oh, it's a brilliant it. finish! And UCD, despite the fact that they're down to 10 players or digits or whatever the hell you refer to them in FIFA soccer, have got the goal. UCD as Jace Kabaya and Reilly Shelburne lead against Finn Harps by one goal to nil, and it's Keeney who gets the strike. I think he's from Donegal. Keeney, there is Keeney from Donegal involved in the League of Ireland, or certainly there has been in the recent past. Not sure if that's one of them. My research isn't great, but either way, UCD have the lead. Yeah, it was a great finish, really. Uh, a nice finesse shot inside the box. He's done very well, took his time. Uh, well, the real question is, will he be able to keep it up? Now, can Finn Harps get an equaliser? Not long to go to the break. Finn Harps pressing. Todd goes outside. McDemy, who can unlock oh, defences. Yeah. They've got the equaliser. McDemy with yeah, a lovely low so. ball through. We've seen that so many times in the real world. And a beautiful finish as well from Finn Harps, who get the equaliser. McDemy. Saul couldn't get there, but I'll tell you what, Webster did, and he stuck that one home with a plump. The experienced player getting the equaliser for Finn Harps. Yeah, it was very impressive the cross there. He left the keeper in no man's land. Uh, there's nothing else really either player could have done. Obviously, one scored, the other conceded, but from a defensive standpoint, there's very little that somebody can do in such a close term. Saul coming forward, he could be in to give Finn Harps the lead here, Saul! Oh, off the woodwork for the second night in a row, we've seen a team hit the woodwork. And how close was that, Eric? What should he have done differently? Actually, we'll come back to that point because the chance isn't gone! No, Saul was waiting for it on the back stick, but his teammate couldn't find him. I think the real option there was to probably take it around the keeper myself. Um, with considering the stats and whatnot of this game and the players that we have on the pitch. Um, Here's Russell! Well blocked by the defender, well. Half time. Uh, half time and it's one all. Finn Harps going 1-0 down. Keeney from Donegal. We have confirmed he is from Donegal with the goal. And then the equaliser coming from Webster. But Finn Harps really should be 2-1 up here, shouldn't it? Yeah, it seems that way. But I must say it is very end-to-end. -end. Uh, Finn Harps should be 2-1 up at the end just there. But uh, beforehand, uh, Jace Kabaya was really putting them under pressure for the first half hour until that red card did happen. And I'd like to see him go forward again in this half. But I guess time will tell. And you can see Jace trying to make some changes there. It is kind of um, a bog-standard stadium, as in they take little bits of stadiums from all over the place and just kind of recreate it. So it's not any specific stadium. It's called Town Park, but God, wouldn't it be great if all League of Ireland grounds looked like this? It doesn't look too big. It looks a little bit like Tala and a kind of a cross maybe with Turner's Cross and Oriel Park. I have to say, a stadium I really have a lot of time for. That's an offside. And how easy is it to avoid offsides in this game or, or otherwise? Well... Now in real life, it's it's a lot more difficult. But you know, in this game, they kind of run automatically. We call it AI running or AI attacking. Uh, and sometimes the players just have a mind of their own and just don't stop running until you know the cows come home. And it can get very annoying. But for the most part, uh, they seem to be onside most of the time. Saul so tried to carry it through himself there, but he couldn't. Now he's making a run inside. He's looking for the cross. He's kind of getting into space. He was looking for the pullback. That's is it gone for a corner? Yes, it is. It'll be struck by McNamee who. Created the equaliser, and that's straight at the keeper. And uh, in that situation, I think the keeper is actually AI controlled, not maybe necessarily controlled by the player himself. In this case, Cameron Salt, UCD coming forward here. You know what? One all wouldn't be a bad result for Jace Gaboya if he can hang on because he's been down to 10 men since midway through the first half. Lost last night against Waterford, but a point keeps him in it. Remember, it's two groups of five and two go through, he'd probably have to win his last three, um, two games, but it, it is possible if he gets a point tonight to stay hanging on in there. This group, of course, also has Cork City, Dundalk, and Waterford, as we mentioned. 
Waterford top of the group after day one with three points following their win. Finn Harps playing for the first time this evening and now here they come again. Can they get the win? They'll be disappointed not to beat ten men. Can they skip through? Almost. But good defending by UCD who go on the counter-attack. Now it's Doyle. Doyle's got a man in front of him, but he's well covered. It's Maddie who got the only goal against Waterford for UCD. Maddie's still going. Maddie into the box. Can he draw a foul? Get a shot away. He gets a shot away. Oh, it wasn't far away. But I think the keeper narrowed the angle and did well. It is a corner. It was a good save by the keeper in the end. Back to me, does his defensive duty and gets it away. But UCD keep the pressure on. They turn the screw. They're in behind. Oh, that's yeah, a fantastic header. And a fantastic him. finish. And Chase Kabaya, well, maybe on for a bit of a shock here. A result he desperately needs. Beautifully well worked goal. Finn Harps caught napping. Finn Harps won. UCD two. What a finish that is. A beautiful finish. O'Farrell planting his header home. Yeah, I must say, it's great to see a low driven header like straight into the ground, bouncing under the goalkeeper and straight into the net. Uh, I'm fair play to Jace Kabaya. He's shown true grit in this game and hopefully he can, he can hold on for the rest of the game. But uh, um, with a man down, he still has to be wary of his defence. Conceded late in his opening game against Waterford, Jace Kabaya, who's not playing as his own team, Shelburne. He has to play as UCD for the reasons we explained earlier on. By the way, keep your donations coming to Cystic Fibrosis Ireland. The details uh, in full on how you can donate or how you can donate uh, via extratime.ie or via the Extra Time Twitter page at Extra Time News. You can get me to at Oshin Langan. Here's Connolly. What can he get? He can get a corner and Finn Harps have a chance. They do have time here, Eric. Yeah, there's another 23 minutes to go and I wouldn't be surprised to see another goal, at least one. I'd imagine, I think it's going to end up 3-2 if I'm a, if I was a betting man, I'd put 3-2 UCD. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure in real time what time there is there. It's a bit like dog years. I'm not quite sure how you convert it. Anyway, UCD coming forward. They could go 3-1 up here. What a shock it would be to lead by two, having had a man sent off in the first half, but they make an absolute dog's dinner of the attempted goal chance. They really should have done better there. McNamee got it going again. McNamee receives it back. McNamee cutting through the students' defence. Saul tries to slip it in behind, but he couldn't do so. And you know what? Jace Kabaya is playing really, really well here. And I think the experience of having had a game last night is, is really benefiting him, Eric. Yeah, as you saw from Tyreek Wilson yesterday, he, um, he held the game very well in controlled possession. And that's exactly what Jace Kabaya is doing this game. I think he learned his lesson that you need to hold on to the ball a little bit more than usual. Uh, especially in FIFA. So he has learned his lesson. And he's letting passes go as well. They're not always working out, but he has created some chances and uh, he is leading, so he's not too far off the mark. Finn Harps coming up the park, slipped in behind. Kerrigan running onto it. Maddie. Lovely ball out to the wing. Can UCD seal this one here? You get a feeling that the goal here might do it. But again, it's defended well, and again, McNamee gets it away. McNamee on it again. He is popping up everywhere. He's definitely the man of the match so far. Saul puts it in behind. Is there a chance to be had here for Finn Harps? No, it's really good defending by Sheridan, who slipped back, back to the goalkeeper, and the goalkeeper just skies it away out the wing. Always clear it out the wing, never clear it down the middle. That's what you're told in any sport, I think it's fair to say, where there's goalposts. UCD. Will he hold it in the corner for 10 minutes? Can he just hang on to the ball? How difficult or otherwise is that to do in FIFA? No, they'll go for a chance, which they can't keep down. Yeah, to hold on to the ball with the last 10 minutes, it is more Please. difficult because... Oh, here comes a sub or a change in formation. Letting the hops down, man. So Jays is changing formation. I beg your pardon, it's Cameron who's changing formation. 5-4-1, that's interesting when he's actually trailing and maybe needs to push more men forward. Do you think he'd be doing the other... Uh, you think he'd be doing it the other way around? Well, maybe he's not going to... No, I think yes, this is um, Jace Kabaya, yeah, because I see a friend of mine, Sha McDonald, Sean McDonald on the bench there. Uh, so it's UCD's team. Oh, as it far is UCD's, away. yeah, sorry. No, if the Finn Harps popped up a second on ago. You have to keep mind. Yeah, yeah, so now it's UCD. Maybe it was Finn Harps, and now it's UCD. I'm trying to get myself out of trouble here. I just plain and simply got it wrong. But Finn Harps popped up. It confused me. Jace is making a tactical change and probably a smart one. How much difference did these make, Eric? Uh, especially with the five at the back, he has you know a man down. He knows that very well. Um, he knows he just needs to kind of pack up shop and hold tight, sit tight, get his three points and come on home. It's one thing we didn't see actually um, yesterday in the game, or certainly if it, if it did happen, it didn't make the edit. Um, teams making switches like that. And maybe, again, with Jay's experience and the fact that he's had the game and maybe has practiced a few games even since his group game, he knows he can make changes and he knows they do 
make a difference. Tactics really do make a difference in this match, as it was same as the real world. UCD coming forward. Twin halves with three at the back. They seem to have plenty of cover. Only one man in there to aim at for UCD, and they can't find him. And Finn Harps get it away. This would be a big blow to Cameron's chances of getting through if he was to lose this match, especially having played with uh, a man advantage for most of the game. Here is Cameron, the man himself, and the man not himself, if you know what I mean. The, the virtual, oh, I'm getting confused. This is a very surreal situation, isn't it, Eric? But this is what COVID-19 has forced us into doing. We want our fix of League of Ireland. We want to follow the teams we love. And we want to raise some money for a good cause if we can. So we're commentating on FIFA. I'm sitting on my bed, commentating at FIFA. And you're in your house, Eric, and you're commentating as well. We're socially distant from each other. But then again, as a professional video games player, Eric, I guess you're always socially distant. Well, to a certain extent, I always have to get my fix of talking to random people. Oh, it's 3-1! What a finish that was And Finn Harps! Well, it's a big, big blow, and Maddie, I think, is stuck at home again. And what a win this is for Jace Caballa. What a performance. Let's... Well, I thought we'd get another look at it there. We may do um, on the uh, at the end of the game, but either way, Maddie reacted first to the rebound, and that was really good. Fast fingers from Jace Caballa to react to that, if you follow my lead there. Well, we and Very that's it. UCD have got the win. Before we I'll talk about the strong. results and what I'll it means in the wider strong. context no of issue, things, talk no to me issue. about that goal because as I just said there, I think it was a fast reaction. I think it was fast fingers from Jace to get the goal on the rebound. Oh, absolutely. He was the one that had to press the button there to shoot. Otherwise, the player would have just had the ball at his feet and probably would have got it stuck under his feet at the same time and wouldn't have actually had the opportunity to shoot. So fair play to Jace Kabaya there, picking up a 3-1 win after being a man sent off. Uh, very impressed, actually. And that, that first game against Tyreek Wilson really did shake him, shake his tree. So it's good to see. And what about Cameron? What will he learn from this? So the real thing I think that he could have done in that situation uh, would have been hold the ball a little bit more due to the fact he had more space with the ball that he could have passed it around that little bit more and maybe can made himself a few more chances on goal. But unfortunately, it didn't end that way. So Jace Caballa has kind of blown the group wide open. He needed something out of this game. He's got all three points. The final score, UCD three, Finn Harps one. So UCD now on three points from two games. Finn Harps, that was Cameron's first game. Um, he's the Finn Harps striker playing as Finn Harps for obvious reasons. They've got nothing, but they're only one game in. And maybe Jay's had a bit of an advantage in having that uh, game yesterday against uh, Waterford's Tariq Wilson. Uh, this is going to be a very interesting group, you can tell. Remember, this is all in aid of Cystic Fibrosis Ireland. And you can donate money to them via I donate forward slash extra time, i.e., E Sport Cup and please do give them a follow on Twitter and please do donate what you can at this very tough time for all of us. This is something we need. We need our fix of football. We need to have fun as well, tough as it is out there. Eric, my thanks to you. We'll be back with another game very, very soon. Remember, you can keep an eye on everything that's going on uh, on the Esports Cup and of course football in general via Extra Time on Twitter at Extra Time News or the website at extratime.ie. For now, it is goodbye.